Hello everyone and welcome back to Cisco Packet Tracer Skills Integration Challenge. Uh, today we're going to be working on 2.4.1.2 and well let's go ahead and get started. So I have the Packet Tracer open here and the assignment uh, requirements here. So let's uh, take a look at what we have. We have the addressing table. We have the, uh, we have, let's see here. So here's our objectives, our scenario, and our requirements. Now, I will let you read the objectives and scenario on your own. They're pretty simple, however. Uh, let's get started on the requirements. Number one, use a console connection to access each switch. This is pretty typical of Cisco um, challenges. And in case you've never done it though, it can be really confusing. So the first thing we need to do is click on the uh, cables here and grab this blue one, which is the console. And we're going to go from the 233 here to the console connection there. Notice we have the blue line, little black circles. That's all it takes to connect to console. And we can see that in this case, if we click on either switch, we are locked out. And they want us to get in the habit of not uh, working directly on a switch or router, but doing the more traditional uh, console in. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. If you're unfamiliar on how to get to the terminal, we go to desktop and we have the terminal command here. But since we're already here, let's go ahead and set up the PCs real quick. And we'll do that by going to IP configuration and user one, which is right here, 128.107.20.25 and the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, zero. Good, let's go do the other one and just get that out of the way as well. 128, 107.20.30, 255, 255, 255, zero. All right, great. Excellent, now let's start working down our requirements. Okay, first, name the switches. So let's go back over here and we'll go to terminal and click okay. And notice it looks exactly like what uh, you would see if you were in the CLI on the switch. All right, so we need to do enable, EN, and then config T or configure terminal commands. And that allows us to get to a point where we can start to uh, work on this requirement. And the first is host name, AS w-1 that's our first switch all right great and now we're going to do our passwords so use the r4xe3 password on all lines so we'll start with line console 0 new password and r capital r 4 capital x e3 all right. Yep. Okay. And then we'll do login. Next, we want to do the line VTY 0 to 15. We'll do password there as well. And that is capital R4, capital X, E3 as well. Here we want to do login local. And that takes care of the lines. Uh, next we have the secret and remember we do that with enable secret or we could do enable password and this is a good teaching moment so after each command you can hit the question mark and it will show you the next possible uh, keyword. So notice we have password and we have secret and the difference is 
whether or not it encrypts the password automatically or not. So we'll go ahead and do secret. And the password for that is C4AJA. -A. All right, good. Now, next it wants to encrypt all clear text passwords. And we do that with service password encryption. Remember that the CLI uses a tab completion, which not only makes your job faster, but it improves accuracy as well because you're not typing out the whole command and possibly getting it wrong. So in this case, if we type SER tab, it'll complete it. And then we have pass, and we can complete it to in include the entire dash encryption. All right, great. Uh, next, include the word warning in the banner of the day, okay, or message of the day for banner. And we do that, B-A-N tab, M-O tab. Now for uh, the messages, we have a delimiting value. You can use anything you want as long as it's the first and the last um, character in your string. I'll use a hashtag and I'll say warning no unauthorized access. We'll finish with has hashtag. Um, next we need to configure the VLAN. We do that with interface VLAN 1, IP address 128.107.20.10, and then our subnet mask 255.255.255.0. And do not forget to do a no shut. This changes the state to up. All right, finally, save your configuration. We can say do, copy, run, start. And remember the do is kind of the pseudo uh, privilege. It allows you to use commands that you would not normally use in that particular location. All right, great. Now it's all there. So now we should be able to go do, show, run, and let's look. Host name, good. Service level encryption, good. Enable secret, good. There's our banner. Here's our interface VLAN 1 with our 128.107.20.10. Here's our line console, it is encrypted. Our VTY 0 to 4 and VTY 5 to 15. And notice they're encrypted and they all should be the same hash. All right, looks good. Excellent. So let's go ahead and disconnect from this machine. We do that just by grabbing the circle here. And we can go to our next machine, put it into the console, and repeat. All right, great. Now this time I'm going to go a little faster uh, since it's identical to what we just did. Host name, good. Next, we want our line console. R four X E three. Oops. R four X E three. Log in. Line to I zero to fifteen. Password. R four X zero three R four X E three login local exit out of that enable secret C four A J A now we do our service encryption our service password encryption now we can do our banner. Warning, no unauthorized access. Good. We can now do our interface VLAN 1, IP address 128.107.20.15 with the 255.255.255.0 mask. No shut. 
All right, looks good. Um, and finally, then our last thing is to do copy run start. All right, so we can uh, see here that our completion is 90 out of 90, which is excellent. That's what we want. That should be 100%. Uh, we've saved our configurations. The last thing we want to do, though, is do a ping test. And we can go to command prompt, ping 128.107, and we want to ping 20.30. Uh, 20.30. All right, being in across the board, we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I am very grateful. And until next time, happy coding.